Hey everyone, welcome to SharePoint Spaces step by step series. Myself Dhruvin Shah and you are watching the second part of the series. In this series, I am going to talk about one of the important web part of SharePoint Space which is 360 degree image web part. Before we get started, I prefer you to watch my previous episode. If you haven't get a chance to watch part 1 of the video, uh, links are always down below in the description box. So now let's get started and see how we can add the web parts to the SharePoint spaces. So to add any web part to your SharePoint spaces page, you need to click on plus icon over here. Here you can find the different available web part for your SharePoint spaces. Now I am going to click on 360 degree image web part. So once you click on 360 degree image web part, you will be having this type of cursor over here. So you need to, uh, whenever you wish to add your web part to space you can add the web part to that specific point let's say for an example i want to add my web part at this position so i'm just clicking on that so it will open this setting for me here we need to upload one 360 degree image over here so basically i already uploaded one 360 degree image over here so i'm just clicking on open and just clicking on save so here it will add our 360 degree images now let's check our configuration properties so let's say for an example uh, this is my uh, this is the web part which we have added once we click on that and drag anywhere on the page we can change its position so now let me keep its position as here right now let's say for an example once we click on it it we will be seeing these two options edit and remove if we want to remove the web part we can use this option and once we click on edit it will open this property pane for us here we can see different properties like image property here we can change the image from using this option also here you can change the rotation of your page as well so if you want to change uh, the starting position of image to a specific uh, rotation point rotation angle you can set it from here same way detail section if your image is not visible somehow you if you wish to have any alternate text you can add it to here show alternate text uh, you can turn it on and off using this option then podium option now what is podium so you can see that our 360 degree images can be visible over here now the below section you can see here it is called a podium like uh, your web part is in place of your podium so if you do not want to show podium you can turn it off so you can see only the web part over here but if you want to show the podium you can set it over here and you can also change the height of the podium from using this option yep now uh, some other properties are action property so on trigger it will open the 360 degree images so these are the basic properties of this web part uh, now let's don't change anything over here now let me talk about some of these properties which is available at the bottom when you when you try to add this web part right so let's click on this web part and here you can see different properties like angle property so you can see that using this property using this angle property you can change the position of your web part throughout the space so this is this is the use of this angle property yep also the same thing you can do using a uh, drag and drop as well but if you wish to use the specific uh, angle position and some precision you can use this pan over here same way the second property is distance from user so this is our sharepoint space you can see that at this moment it is very nearer to user now let's say if i change like uh, if i increase this property you can see that the uh, the distance from the user is being changed using this property yep third option is height you can set the height of your uh, podium using this property yep so uh, let's not make our height too much same way y-axis if you want to rotate your y-axis you can use this property you can see that uh, the podium and the web part is being rotating at this moment and at last 
there is a scale property if you want to increase the size of your uh, web part you can use this scale property so this will increase the height over here same thing you can do it using drag and drop as well you can uh, put any axis and you can change the height of your web part like this yep now let's save these changes and now let's see the web part where how the web part will look like in the publish page so i'm just clicking on republish over here it's my sharepoint space and i just added one web part over here now whenever i click on here it will open the 360 degree images like this right if we want to come back to our page press escape key so we will be back to our sharepoint space page so this is how we can add the 360 degree images over here so if i conclude the entire session in two lines it is said like for an example if you want to show any 360 degree images for your end user you can use this web part second thing we have talked about the different configuration property like angle uh, distance from user height y-axis and scale property same way we have also talked about the web part configuration property like alternate text height of podium trigger action etc so this is how our sharepoint uh, sh uh, this is so this is how our 360 degree image web part will look like into sharepoint space hope this is clear for you now if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay connected with me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel just click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number stay connected with me have a great day goodbye